Butler Xavier from the world's most famous arena. In the Madison Mason Square Garden. Nice hesitation. A shot and one. Trayvon blew it. That ankle must be loose to start. Martin again. Wet. The ball came down wet is what you're saying. And just a little ball fake. Freezes the D. Skip pass. Bernard open. Whoa. Oh, that was unattractive. Should only get one for that one. Baseline ball went from Georgia. How about that? <laughs> well, it's down south anyhow. <laughs> Blew it. He makes it opening and lays it in plus the foul. How about that? Here's Baldwin now in transition. Tried to dribble through traffic and loses it. Nice Bounce pass ahead. Gooden. Up and in. On the money. The length of the floor. Catchable. Right in the pocket. One, two. Ring that bell. Savage. Drive it again. Gets to the hole. Again. And right here. Fowler once again. Causes the traffic problem. A little kiss at the end. Some pretty solid play. Good. Finds Blewett. They want it in his hands. Nice. Blewett drives, stops, fades. Pure! Von Blewett. So player. Butler down by two. Travis, the kick. Baldwin for the win. Off the heel. Loose. Lewis for the tie. No. Loose. Makura with the big rebound. He finally made a play today. So here's JP, who hasn't had his best game tonight. But this free throw could ice it. And he missed it. Trap Fowler with the rebound. Take it away, Jones. The slam at the buzzer. And think... Xavier shocks Butler, upsetting the number two seed. Back court side with the man everybody was talking about, Trayvon Lewin, averaging 20 points a game in this year's edition of the Big East Tournament. I want to flash back. 34.9 seconds left. We're tied at 57s. Timeout is called. What's the message in the timeout, and what's the play that was diagrammed? Uh, well, first he came over and told us just to take a deep breath. Um, he told us, you know, this is what we live for. This is all fun, and uh, that we're going to win this game. And if y'all believe it, then uh, it's going to happen. And uh, the play that he drew up was just kind of getting me on a little ISO uh, around the elbow area and just uh, just making a play off that. Was there any advocating that you wanted the ball, or did Coach Mack make that decision? Uh, you know, I kind of think it was 50-50, but it was, ultimately it was his decision, you know. So, uh, you know, he decided to run with that. What's 50-50? <laughs> uh, you know, half me, you know, saying, come on, give me the ball, and then half uh, Coach, you know, his decision. Such an impressive uh, win for a number of reasons, but what strikes me is the way, as a group, the players and the staff continue to improve in spite of the injuries, the suspensions. You guys have been through a lot of adversity, but it seems this new group, the latest group, playing together is hitting on all cylinders at just the right time. Why is that? What, what is it about this team that, that's allowed you to continue to move forward? You know, I think that we're relentless. And I think, uh, you know, we fight through adversity, and we've been fighting through that all season. And, uh, you know, coaches told us to stay the right path, stay the course. And we never, you know, we never got distracted with any of those, and we stayed the course. We know what's ahead. And, um, you know, we had a group of uh, tough guys, and that's, that's what got us through. First half, second half. Last night, struggled first half, took over in the second half, did it again tonight. What's going on there with the strong finishes? Uh, you know, I don't know. You know, I, I get up to a slow start, but I never let that waver, my mentality. Um, you know, I still I still got to be there for my team, still got to step up in a heat of the moment. So. I just got to ask you about the, the, the strip at the end there. Tremendous. You, you, you knew what was happening with them. They weren't going to call a timeout. Pretty gutsy play. Yeah, yeah, you know, uh, you know, being down three, you know, they weren't going to call a timeout. So, you know, we were going to try to get a foul. That, that resulted in, a, um, you know, maybe a two-point two point play on free throw line or something like that. And then we just had to rebound at the end on their end. So we didn't want them to get a clean three off, and I think we did a good job at that. Trayvon, congratulations. We'll see you again tomorrow night. Xavier, they move on to the semifinals. They're going to take on the winner of our next game, Creighton and Providence. Go rest up.